One thing that is perhaps overlooked, especially in Ableton, is the warping texture setting on samples. Usually the warp setting is used when you're trying to match the BPM to something or warp something like a sample so that it's in time with your track. But you actually can use it for some cool sound design stuff. Basically all you need to do to achieve this is to warp a sample and then select texture mode and mess around with the BPM, grain size and flux. What this does is that it stretches the actual sample and divides them into little grains and they actually play back in really weird ways and you can sometimes find some cool stuff in there. That you're not my everything despite all your well-meaning it's not meant to be That you're not my everything but obviously this isn't limited to just vocals we can also try it on this drum fill that is actually from this flume song So again, let's warp the sample and adjust the flux and grain size and stretch out the BPM. You can even mess around with the pitch of the sample, like for this one I increase it in pitch and you get some different results. Storing reverbs is a pretty unconventional way of making atmospheres. Usually in an effects chain you'd have the reverb after the distortion, but to make the sort of reverbs we're going to try adding reverbs before the distortion for instruments in order to get that sort of distorted pad like sound. I started off by just writing a simple melody in Serum using mostly sustained notes, but you can use any sound you like, and for this I recommend trying out different sounds in order to get different textures. Then I just added the Halo Supermassive, which is actually a really good free reverb, reverb plugin. Uh, it has some like really good built-in delays, but I just use it for reverbs usually. But you can use any reverb you really want, like even stock reverbs are really good for this. After this I just freeze the reverb into the audio track, and then I actually load it up a decapitator in order to saturate and distort the reverbs. Again, you can use any saturator or distortion plugin you like. Even stock plugins for distortion can work really well. Like I know that Ableton saturator is really good for this. And I'm sure FL Studio has other saturators that you can use too. So you don't have to have any fancy plugin like Decapitator. You can use anyone you really want. I then messed around with the order of the audio clips, such as like reversing and rearranging them.
one interesting way to use delays is actually just by putting it on the master of a track or like using it on a full track. And for this example, I've written out a short track that I made and we can use the delay on the master to show the effects that I'm talking about. So basically all you need to do is just grab a delay, in this case I use Ableton stock delay which is literally good enough, any delay can work, well on this no matter what, even if it's stock. Um, and then all I did was apply maximum feedback and maximum mix, so 100% wet signal and drew a filter so that it cuts out a lot of the high end so that it's sort of like low passing it. You'll notice again that this is sort of like having a low pass filter but this is a bit more of an interesting way to do it and you get some pretty cool results like you can hear some delays of the low end quite well. And another thing that I like to do is I actually like to add a flanger. Um, to the whole thing. So I'll add a flanger and you can see that it will create some pretty cool results. So that's all good, but let's try it on some actual individual tracks by themselves. So here I have some random percussive hits that have been reversed and I put them into a drum beat. They're just random percussion that doesn't really have any musicality about it, but once you start adding delays you can actually start to come up with some ideas like here. So you can automate the delay time across the drum beats to go up and down and you'll notice that this plays with the pitch so you'll see what happens in this example. So we can take this and let's actually listen to it in context with the beat that I made. You can even use it with singular instruments, like with this hi-hat, I use a delay with a really fast time and you'll notice a metallic-y sort of effect on the hi-hat. Autopan is possibly one of the simplest but most effective sound design methods possible. For this demonstration I'm going to take these vocal chops and then I'm going to apply an auto pan, and then you'll see how it works.
Alright, so moving on to granular synthesis, and granular synthesis is probably one of my favorite sound design techniques, and it's usually like really easy, and it's actually quite fun to play around with. Basically, what we need to do is start with a sample, this can be any sample, um, I like to use full songs or percussion loops, anything you like. <laughs> and load it into a granular synthesizer. I use a demo for Quanta in this demonstration, which is a granular synthesizer, which is actually free if you download the demo. And for some reason, it says that it lasts only 20 minutes for the demo, and then it resets, but for me it just lasts forever, and apparently for other people it also does as well. So you can go download the uh, demo for Quanta, and I'm pretty sure that's a full version granular synthesizer that you can just use forever, which is quite cool. And then after this, all you need to do is draw a pattern or just a singular note. Like for this, I'm just using a singular note. And adjust the parameters to your liking. For me, I always had a bit of randomness, especially to, to the position of the grain playback, which essentially just covers more of the sample for it to chop up into little grains. Then basically all I do is just scroll through the sample and once you find some pieces that catch your interest you can record them to a separate audio track to arrange in arrangement view. So yeah, as you can hear, it's really weird, but you actually get some pretty cool textures in there. And I actually ended up making something similar to this. <laughs> <laughs> 